is all what it's coming down to, guys. No. Okay, so those sacrifices we're talking about. Do you want it? Yes. Do you want one of these? I mean, I want another one. I gotta fill out a full hand. <laughs> okay, so think about this. If you're on the team, if you're on women's or co-ed team, come over to my desk, I got your rings. Okay, but you guys that don't have them yet, think about it. What sacrifice do you want to make different ones? Okay? So let's break it down. Addy, break it down. Yeah. Because you were standing right in front of me. Okay? L-U-1-2! L-U-1-2! 1-2! two. One, two. I'm getting one this year. You like that, Jenna? I do. I love it. Oh, yeah. That That's wild. Come here, boy. Come here, boy. What's this say? Ooh. Hold on, let it focus. That's sick. So we're going for next year. Pull it out. Your name is on the ring too? Yeah. Dude, that's fucking tight. Today, we have a very light day as we prepare for Big Friday. We're going to war, we have a mock meet. It's gonna be crazy. What do you have to say? Not fucking cool. Not fucking cool. Big Tuesday. Not, not fucking cool. Renee, Renee, whenever you get done blowing up, I'll work on you a little bit, but I, I, I don't want you to sleep in the lab. I'm James, I'm a 109, I'm a junior on the team. You can see me in the back of the video in the black t-shirt and joggers. So pretty much I started weightlifting and like I put a lot into it. So getting these rings meant a lot to me. And today when Trent gave us the rings and I opened my box, I got a really big rush of emotions, happy and sad, just thinking about like all of the things that I've put into weightlifting and why I started and why I keep going and try really hard every day. And it's just like, nice to finally have something to see all of the memories and stuff that I've put into it. So when I see this ring now, it just like is a reminder of why I started. My name is Adam Withington. I'm a junior on the team and uh, yeah, this is my third year with the program. Um, I was part of the first team back after it got cut in 2020. And, you know, when we came back, there was 10, maybe 12 athletes in total. And to see it grow to what it is now to almost 24, 25 athletes, it's really, it's been a lot to take in over the years. And um, when we got those rings today, it really, 
it really like set home for me because I'm coming up on five years in the sport. <laughs> uh, I'm coming up on five years in the sport and, you know, I've never had any national medals. I've been just in my eyes, a very average weightlifter. And I just like, you know, it's, it's hard to process that sometimes. And so, um, just getting those, uh, national rings today, just really set it in my brain that I was able to finally accomplish something in weightlifting after five years of putting in the work day in and day out almost every day for the past five years and I've struggled with burnout and I've had mixes of highs and lows and injuries and just for it to all come together with that ring today it really it really meant a lot to me hi my name is Chase Wachowski uh, better yet known as the guy in Calvin's videos um these rings we received today they they mean a lot, and I got rings in high school. You know, doing doing Florida and, and Florida doing the FSHA weightlifting, and I got state championship rings. But they don't mean nothing as much as what we got today. It's like just receiving them all as a team and what we worked for in the last you know year. It's like it's crazy to see that like this is a, a symbol of our you know hard work and dedication, and it's just great to see everyone like so emotional and worked up about them. Like it shows how much it means to the team. Hey guys, Calvin here, owner of the channel. Basically, uh, I did not get a ring. So uh, you, you just heard from some of my teammates who got the, their rings today. It was really cool, really emotional, really awesome to see. Because uh, we won those rings just in our second year as a program. Now, Linwood has been around for a while, but uh, second year under head coach Trent Crane. Um, the, everybody left the program during covid um, and the, the head coach, previous head coach, had gotten fired. Uh, so in just the second year back, we won the national championship, um, and it was really close. It was not, it was not a sweep, so it was, it was a big win for us. Uh, but that happened to just be our co-ed team and our women's team. I was just on the men's team, which did not win. We got second. So I still don't, I still don't have any ring, uh, but we're about four and a half weeks out from nationals right now where we have a chance to do it again. Um, so I'm really hoping we're able to so I can score one of those rings. They look pretty good. Ah!